25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go MMS. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Go for main engine start. 3, 2, 1, 0. And lift off of the Atlas V with MMS using magnetic reconnection to fill in pieces of the puzzle of space weather. You has gone to close loop control. Looks good. Engine, engine response looks appropriate. SRB chamber pressures are rolling off. Find zero angle attack phase of flight. And booster is throttled back. We're at time. The roll program has completed. Mach 1. Has now throttled back up. RD-180 continues to perform well. SRP chamber pressures have rolled off. Current altitude is 8.46 miles. Downrange is 4.1 miles. Velocity 1,882 miles per hour. Landing station at Jupiter Inlet now supplying data. SRP chamber pressures continue to look good. Coming up on SRP burnout. Been used to operate well. And we have chamber pressures rolling off. And we have satisfied Boda and we have bottled back up to 100% thrust. Current altitude is 19 miles, downrange distance 18.7 miles, current velocity 3,028 miles per hour. Atlas will cut off at 4 minutes and 9 seconds into the light. rd one continues to perform well. Pump speeds and chamber pressures within band. Coming up on closed loop steering. And we have enabled closed loop steering. Your V's have been jettisoned. We have performed a roll bias maneuver. All the data looks good coming back to the Mission Director Center. RCS pyro valve has been fired. That system is now pressuring, pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Alpha limited steering has been enabled. Current altitude is 44 miles. Downrange distance is 114 miles. Current velocity is 7,155 miles per hour. Currently accelerating smoothly at 3.5 Gs. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment. And booster has begun to throttle to maintain 5Gs. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And booster has begun to throttle to 4.6Gs in preparation for Pico. And by for booster, booster engine cooldown. And we have engine shutdown. Engine shut down right on time. We have fired the retros and have clean stage separation. We have box and fuel pre-start on the RL-10. Chain 2 purge fern on the RCS is underway. Standing by for Centaur engine start. And full thrust on the RL-10. Centaur is burning.
And we have indication of payload for in jettison. Looks like a clean jettison. Centaur steering has been enabled. Tank pressures are being reduced at this point. Point. Centaur PU has gone to fixed angles for the early portion of this nine minute and seven second burn. RCS line temperatures are warming toward bottle temperature. Signatures look good. RL10 performance looks very good. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi are all within the expected region for the wet mix ratio. All the data coming back into the Mission Director Center is in the green. Centaur is currently flying at an altitude of 113 miles. Downrange distance is 600 miles. Current velocity is 12,919 miles per hour. Six minutes into the flight. Centaur PU is now operating in a closed loop fashion, however, it's continuing to request an oxidizer rich condition. Quick look at the booster performance shows we were plus 52 pounds mass, which is one half sigma positive. And Centaur has begun its role to teach us attitude. And we have had the format change, just a minor loss of data at that point. RL10 continues to perform well. First chamber, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all within expected range. Centaur PU has now come off the box rich stuff. Centaur has now achieved the earliest head-on gate time. Range track shows it is beyond the range for the head-on gate. Continue to make good progress down the middle of the corridor. Loss of signal at Jupiter Inlet, and we are now on Tedris East. Current altitude is 142 miles. Downrange distance is 1,002 miles. Current velocity is 13,677 miles per hour. Centaur has now switched to antenna select mode. Continuing to see our normal thermal conditioning firings on the reaction control system. Line temperatures have nearly warmed to bottle temperatures. Tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Battery voltages also look good. Eight minutes, 30 seconds into the light. Five minutes remain in this burn. All Centaur systems look very good at this point. Currently, Centaur is flying at an altitude of 149 miles. Downrange distance, 1,295 miles. Current velocity, 14,380 miles per hour. And Centaur PU is now controlling near nominal. RL10 performance is within band for the set mixture ratio. Pump temperatures look good.
Four minutes remaining in this centaur burn. Launch plus 10 minutes, 10 minutes into the flight. Centaur tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures continue to look good. Battery voltages do as well. U has nearly worked off all the excess oxidizer. Our tens performing well. Thrust chambers, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi look good. Three minutes remaining in the Centaur burn. Centaur continues to perform nominally, currently flying at an altitude of 145 miles. Downrange distance is 1,848 miles. Current velocity, 15,794 miles per hour. Two minutes remaining in this Centaur burn. Two minutes remain in this burn. RL-10 performance continues to look excellent. Getting very good data quality. RCS line temperatures have warmed the bottle temperatures. Continuing to see our thermal conditioning firings. Twelve minutes into the flight. Centaur continues to perform well. Current tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Body rates are the same and continue to control right down the middle of the range corridor. About 45 seconds remaining in the first burn of the Centaur. Thirteen minutes into the mission. And we have IIP Vanish. Centaur is now orbital. RL-10 performance continues to be nominal. RCS continues its thermal conditioning firing. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We have Forrest settling on. Tank pressures are stable. Fuel tank has been vented down. Storage bottle pressures are stable as well. Centaur has begun its turn to PTC attitude begun its roll at one degree per second. This coast period is expected to be 58 minutes and 58 seconds in duration prior to our second burn, which will be five minutes and 40 seconds in duration.